Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Sunnah Revival by Sheikh Mu'iz Bukhari Sunan and Etiquettes Whilst Eating and After Eating Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this is Mu'iz Bukhari recording for the Daily Reminder Network. This is a continuation of the previous episode where we spoke about the sunan and etiquettes of eating and drinking. For today's episode, inshallah ta'ala, we will be focusing on more sunan and etiquettes whilst eating and after eating. So the first sunnah on the list is to eat with your right hand. For the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said and the narration is recorded in the book of Imam Muslim None of you should eat with your left hand or drink with your left hand because the devil eats with his left hand and drinks with his left hand. Number two on the list is to eat from what is directly in front of you and not to let your hand roam all over the plate. And this has been taught to us in the narration of the Prophet ﷺ that I mentioned in the previous episode where he ﷺ teaches Umar ibn Abi Salama to start eating by mentioning the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to eat with his right hand and not to uh, let his hand roam all over the platter. In other words, to eat from what is directly in front of him. In another narration, the Prophet ﷺ is reported to have said, and this particular narration is recorded in the book of Imam At-Tirmidhi rahimahullah, that, and the narration goes along the lines of these words, that the barakah, the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, descends upon the middle of the plate. Therefore, eat from the edges. And one of the explanations given in regard to this particular narration is that if an individual were to start eating from the middle, that would cancel out the descending of the barakah. Therefore, an individual is supposed to eat from the edges so as to get the maximum barakah blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Next in line is to wash your hands and rinse your mouth after eating. So it is mustahab, it is preferable to wash your hands before and after eating. The next great sunnah in line is to pray for one's host if you are invited for a meal. Once the Prophet ﷺ visited Sa'ad ibn Ubadah and Sa'ad ibn Ubadah offers the Prophet ﷺ some bread and oil to eat. After consuming the food, the Prophet ﷺ prays for Sa'ad ibn Ubadah Aftara indakum as saimun وَأَكَلَ طُعَامَكُمْ الْأَبْرَارِ وَصَلَّتْ عَلَيْكُمُ الْمَلَائِكَةِ A beautiful dua by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May fasting individuals break their fast by you. May pious and righteous people eat of your food. And may the angels pray for you. So it is upon us to make any good dua for our host by asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless them, to bless their families, to bless them in their trade, to bless them with good health. We can make any form of a good dua for our hosts. The next sunnah is that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to eat with three fingers as it is a sign of greed and gluttony to eat with more than three fingers. But if there is a necessity Say if the food is light and difficult to gather with three fingers, then there is no harm in using four fingers or five fingers. Likewise, there is no harm in using the fork and spoon to eat. But one must be extremely careful not to get too carried away with so-called modern-day fine dining etiquettes, where an individual compromises or leaves the beautiful sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, which is to eat with the right hand and starts eating with the left hand. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all to adhere to the beautiful sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad wasallam. The Prophet wasallam also taught us that if a morsel of food falls to the ground, we are supposed to pick it up remove any particles of dirt or dust that may be on it and consume it. And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to lick his fingers as well after eating. Finally, after eating the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to praise Allah and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In a narration that has been recorded in the book of Imam al-Bukhari rahimahullah, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by saying, 
الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه غير مكفي ولا مودع ولا مستغنى عنه ربنا Let me repeat الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه غير مكفي ولا مودع ولا مستغنى عنه ربنا Praise be to Allah much good and blessed praise O oh our Lord, you are not in need of anyone, and we cannot do without your favor nor dispense with it. A beautiful dua. In another narration, the Prophet ﷺ is reported to have said, Whenever he consumed food other than milk, Allahumma barik lana fi wa atu'imna khayram min. O oh Allah, bless it for us and feed us with that which is better than it. And whenever he said, Allahu alayhi wa sallam, consume milk, he would say, Allahumma barik lana fi wa zidna min. O oh Allah, bless it for us and give us more. As a closing note, let us not criticize the food. For the Prophet wasallam never criticized any type of halal and pure food. And let us eat in moderation and not fill up our bellies. For excessive eating is the cause of many diseases today. The Prophet ﷺ is reported to have said that a man does not fill up any vessel worse than his own stomach. And it is also from the beautiful sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ that he used to divide his stomach into three parts. One third for solids, one third for liquids and one third for air. So let us follow the beautiful teachings of the Prophet ﷺ if we wish to lead healthy and productive lives. Please don't forget to share this video around as much as possible to inspire a beautiful sunnah revival. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Support the Dawah. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.